It's out on Spotify and it's up on YouTube. If you haven't peeped the song already, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's a cool production. I did it with a friend, Rocky Angelini, and uh, he brought in a couple extra musicians and it's a really nice production and I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Gotten a lot of really positive feedback on it. Um, but today I just wanted to kind of deconstruct the song and show you guys how I wrote it from lyrics to chords and putting everything together and, uh, and to becoming a song. So. That's what we're gonna do in this video. Hopefully this helps you guys. And if you guys enjoy this kind of thing, make sure to leave comments and uh, let me know if you want more of this. So Crescendo was birthed entirely out of just messing around with chords. I was stumbling across stuff, just doodling with my hands, letting my mind wander. And I popped onto the C major seven chord, just started doing some finger picking down the strings on that chord, and then found that switching to an A sus two um, sounded really good. So I was going, and then I added that little slap in there. And that different subtle variation on the finger picking, so. And then switch to the new chord. And something else I started doing was messing with the, a little strum in there, so. going in terms of uh, chord progression it was just just two chords and then I kind of let my mind wander and thought about melody so on top of that chord progression I was going okay what sounds good here flirtatious lyrics but taking it to the bedroom but you're not crossing that line you know like where you're you're going into uh like pornographic lyrics but you're also not like in you know straight up pg territory so i'm calling it like pg-13 like flirtatious in the bedroom kind of lyrics um but anyway so it started out with this idea of like someone else taking me where they want to go like this girl's taking me to where she wants to go. So, you take me to where you want to go. And then I start to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on. So, I feel your breath touching my collarbone is this line that is like, uh, it's pretty sexual, right? Like, she's breathing on my collarbone, and that means we're very close. And then that makes you start wondering what else is going on. Like she's breathing on his collarbone. Like, so at this point in the story of Crescendo, you know, she's breathing on my collarbone. So I decide to elaborate on the setting, the scene, where is this happening? So the next line I say is on top of sheets and silk pillows. And that kind of continues to paint the picture of where we're at and what's going on. Um, but instead of, levitating on these two chords here. I switch things up and pop down to this chord, to this chord. So the structure has changed here a little bit, giving some something new to listen to. Uh, this is a D sus, or a D add six, and then this is a F sus four diminished, I believe. So very interesting, kind of um, different than pop chords, right? Like I'm giving people something really interesting to listen to. And the reason I chose those chords wasn't because of music theory. It was just because I felt like it had this sultry, velvety texture to it where it gave it kind of 
a fitting feel for this uh, PG-13 story that I'm describing. So, <clears throat> I'm just on top of sheets and silk pillows The way you kiss my neck, it's such a sweet hello Then we're back at the beginning. So the way I have this song structured at this point is just one verse, and it's A, A, B, B in terms of the chord progression. So we're doing the C major 7 to A sus for 2, and then we're doing this D add 6 to F sus 4 for 2. And that's all I have at this point. Now, at this point in the song, I could take things any direction, right? It's a open horizon, broad view. Um, I could go into another chord progression and make it a chorus. I could stay back on that same chord progression and keep elaborating on verses. And at this point in my mind, I'm going, okay, like I really like this chord progression and I love what I'm doing with it. What if I just keep that going and continue to elaborate on the scene and the setting um, and what's happening between me and this other person, uh, but keep the music the same and allow things to unfold lyrically and production-wise later on in the song. So that's the route I chose. And what's cool is the idea of crescendo. Um, I had this in the back of my mind at the time, like crescendo would mean you are reaching a peak in frequency or dynamics or something. And here crescendo, we're reaching a peak uh, as we are about to perform the act of love in the song. And you see that unfold as the lyrics start to continue, but then we're also reaching a peak musically as the music unfolds. So the next verse starts talking about um, something slightly different. So I switched the point of view here. So in the first verse, it was, you take me to where you want to go. And then it's next verse, um, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. So now it's me uh, engaging with this other person. Okay, so now it's, I'll take you anywhere you want to go. We could take it fast or we could take it slow. Let's check the clock, looks like there's time for both. We're not tied up since we both know the ropes. Okay, so that's our verse two. That didn't just come out perfect. It took a lot of writing and thinking and sculpting of the words for it to come out like that. And even when I had it pretty nice, I had a, a friend look over the lyrics and, and help me make sure that things fit just like a glove. Um, so I was happy where that line came out. So that's verse two. And now where do we go? So I decided to just keep going on that idea. So we're gonna pop back into another verse. And the next verse is now we saw the perspective in the first verse of where she wants to take me. Second verse showed where I'll take her. Third verse is about how we're synchronized. So it's now it's like, uh, you take me to where we want to go. Now we're both in it together. So it's, you take me to where we want to go. And then, let's synchronize the way we ebb and flow no need to act cause we just run the show when there's no script it feels so natural okay so third verse talking about how we're ebbing and flowing we're moving together we're synchronized uh, and then on the fourth verse i decide to elaborate on moving past the physical, past the sensual, into this thing that is a crescendo, a musical crescendo, a climax, right? And a climax can be something that's sexual, but right here it's, it's sexual and it's musical. So that's where I geared the lyrics toward in the fourth verse, and the fourth verse goes like this. You take me to another place, you know. What you do with your body gives me shivers You're so cold Let's climb the scales as we hit every note You're better We're better We're better as a duo Crescendo Now if I had ended the 
a song like that, it would have been kind of anticlimactic because it's like I just brought you up to a cliff and then dropped you off at the end of it. So in the production, what's really amazing is Rocky, my buddy out in LA and some of these other musicians really helped me uh, get it to this point where you feel like you're, you know, floating on this like climactic point. And uh, it's done with, I think there's xylophone, um, there's the beat going on the whole way through, and it's just a really cool production. And it really, I think, um, does justice the idea of crescendo. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I know that was kind of all over the place and you're just listening to my stream of thought conscience and how I wrote this song, but hopefully that gives you some insight on how I wrote this song and how you can write your own songs. And um, yeah, just have fun with it. Enjoy the process, be creative, listen to that artist, the right side of your brain that is telling you to create. And when you create something that isn't great, don't get mad at yourself. Just understand it takes time to achieve uh, perfection in whatever it is. It's art, sports, engineering, industry, business. All those things take time to achieve perfection. And we tend to compare ourselves to the people who've already achieved the perfection. So just keep focusing on what you're doing and be graceful when you mess up and, and don't put yourself down. Just keep going forward and eventually you'll get there. It takes time. It's that 10,000 hour rule. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully it helped you. Make sure to give me a thumbs up if it did. And if you guys like this kind of stuff, I'll keep posting. So uh, just comment below. Let me know what you think. Thanks, guys.